The Salton Sea is a very mysterious and confounding place. It is predicted to shrink dramatically after 2017. If it is allowed to dry up, it will change all of our lifestyles. As the shorelines retreat to new lows, as more lake bed is exposed, more dust in the air, uh, that can create a, a public health hazard, a real problem, and a costly one. In that sediment is a certain amount of toxic materials. The cost of inaction at the Salton Sea is at between 29 and 70 billion dollars. Better part of two years, the entire contents of the Colorado River spilled into this region and essentially inundated the Imperial Valley. Once it was formed, people came down to just look at it. Well, by the 1960s, it was a popular location. People were going there to water ski, to play golf, to visit the yacht club. It was just a real party place when they opened up the uh, North Shore Beach and Yacht Club. The Hollywood people came. Desi and Lucy, Frank Sinatra. There were hundreds of thousands of people that visited Salt Sea. You know, they thought it was going to be like the Riviera. Something really special, something to get in at the very start. Then things just stopped. The, the salt content killed off the fish, and then there were several fish die-offs. A lot of the people, when that happened to them, they just up and left. At the end of 2017, salinities will spike, air quality issues from the playa. That exposed lake bed would be subject to the whims of the wind. These dust particles, when you breathe them in, they get lodged in your lungs. Several doctors come in and tell us they can see the impacts just from emergency room visits. If nothing is done, there will be an ecological disaster. We're going to lose the fishery, and at that point, it's too late. There's going to be a problem at the Salton Sea. Whether the state of California is going to step up and pay for solving that problem, or the people of the Imperial and Coachella and Mexicali Valleys are going to pay those costs, somebody's going to pay.